excitement. You know why we are excited. Oh, good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In this episode, we are excited because Apple released the new AirPod, the, the, the headphone things that you put in your ears. Uh, and what they did, they released this new website and basically they had this animation that took over the world and everybody was like, how did they do that? Basically what they did, check it out, is when you scroll, basically this video plays out based on your scr scr <coughs> scroll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it, <coughs> get inspired by it. You know what, everybody gets inspired by everything anyway, right? We do PUBG, then you have Fortnite, and then all the kids are playing the game and they're paying all they, they they get all the cosmetics and you grow up and then you're a parent and then you cry because your kids spent all the money with fortnite where am i going with this what is this at? so anyway this is what i did i filmed myself and when we scroll down we have this nice animation based on the scroll and the cool thing is if you scroll a bit faster we also have this easing so as you can see even though i stop scrolling we still get a bit of movement which makes it look very natural and before we get going i want to thank myself for sponsoring this video um thank you thank you hello you guys ready for this okay let's go so what we need to do is just create a new folder. I'm gonna name this new AirPad Pro, okay? This is gonna be the name, open it up. And I will provide you with a video in the description, you're gonna find it, but you can use any video you want. Uh, what I had is the one you saw in the preview, so I'm just gonna add that, which is called Apple DevEd Pro, okay? That's all we need. So now we can make our index.html file. Okay, hit shift one and tab and boom, generation of the association. Okay, Apple Dev at Pro. We're gonna get the title to this one. And here we're not gonna need too many things, just a few. I'm just gonna create a class of intro. And here is where I'm gonna add a title called the new Dev at Pro. Okay, and underneath is basically gonna be the video tag. So I'm gonna name this video and I'm just gonna give a source of this one. Okay, Apple Dev at Pro. Okay, that's all we need. And at the end, if you wanna continue doing other stuff, I'm just gonna add a section here and call this revolutionary, like that. Okay, this, if you wanna add more animations and you wanna continue, uh, you can keep going here with different sections. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess you could have done this as a section as well, but <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, so basically the animation that we're gonna do, you can achieve it with vanilla JavaScript, and I'm gonna kind of show you how. It's just like one little modification. I'm gonna add scroll magic and GSAP uh, just so we can animate these titles and all, just to make it look similar to what Apple has. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is go to our best friend, Google, here. Uh, so we're gonna click clickety-clackety here, and we are getting... We want two things from here, actually. We want scroll magic, which is the library uh, that enables you to do animations on scroll. So let's add it here, like that. You can just copy, you can go to scroll magic and copy the script tag. Now, if you want this to work with GSAP, you can also get animation GSAP. Okay, so let's copy that too. Copy script tag. We're gonna put it below. And finally, uh, if we want some debugging help, uh, you're gonna see that we can also add these indicators. This is optional. You don't need to add this. I'm just gonna add it just to make everything more visible and easy to understand. Okay, okay. All right, so these and then we're just gonna add GSAP. GSAP, CDN, all right? Good thing no weird websites showed up there. Not safe for work. Um, so here, what we're gonna do is just get tween max, okay? Uh, there's also normal tween, but we, we wanna get the max. We wanna max out our potential. So we're gonna add that at the bottom. Started from the bottom, but we, okay, uh, I'll stop. Okay, that's what we need, okay? Now what we can do is just open this up and see what we got. Open in live server. And wow, it's horrible. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, so what we can do is 
do a CSS mm, jiggly CSS. And now with this, we have the power to make it look even worse. So let's just link it like that. And in here, I'm just gonna remove your basic styles. So you can do margin zero on all the elements, padding zero, and box sizing the bow the box. Okay, this is gonna remove all the basic styles. And now we can just get the body and we can add a font family of sans serif, okay? The only serif in town. This is just gonna make it look a bit less worse, okay? And as you can see now we have no spacing on the H1 and everything because we removed all the margins and paddings on all the elements. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, am I recording the right screen? Let me check, yes I am. <laughs> okay. Too much Halloween pumpkins I had. Um, what we're gonna do is grab that intro where the title and the video is, and I'm just gonna give it a height of 100 VH, which is basically gonna be the size of my screen. Okay, uh, so like that. Okay, now this is gonna spill over a bit, but don't worry because we are gonna fix it. Because we are good at that sometimes. Not really. Okay, so here is how we fix. We get the intro video and we just add a height of 100% and a width of 100%, 20% lock, 20% skill, 5% concentrated power and will. So we still have this problem as you can see. So what we need to do is you can use object fit and what that's gonna do, if you say object fit container uh, cover, it's gonna stretch out that image, that video, it's gonna stretch it out until it basically fits the whole screen here. So like that. Now you might be wondering, Ed, but I can still scroll. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? Well, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the title from here. So if you add position absolute, you're actually removing it from the DOM, okay? So from the HTML structure. You're removing it, so it's not part of it anymore. So it, the video basically takes up all the screen, okay? So check it out. If we say intro H1 and we add a position absolute, it gets plucked out. Boom, see? Now we good. Now we good. We still have this title, but this is like another section. So this is full screen, okay? So we pluck it out and then we put it in the middle. You can do that top 50 and left 50. You know, the old school stuff that we all learned in kindergarten. I hit my microphone again. We can say transform, translate, minus 50, minus 50, save. Now this moves it perfectly in the center, wow. Okay, uh, now what we can do is just increase the font size of this. Font size, you can do around, I don't know, 80 pixels, is that too big? That's what she said, okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy, doesn't look too bad. Where's my text? Okay, so we need black. I mean white, we need white on this. There we go, now I can see, perfect. So this is all we need here, that's all the CSS. We can get the section here, give it a height if we want of 100 VH and the color of black to the text, okay? Just in case we want this this thing nicely. Now let's also get the text. We can say section H1 and we can just add a padding top of like 300 pixels and we can text align this to the center just so we have something to look at. Font size, let's do 80 pixels as well. Okay, just so we have this down here. Cool, okay, so we have the video. Okay, now we can do the JavaScript part. How do we animate this? So let's do an app.js. Okay, make sure you link it. Don't forget to go all the way down here, right above your body, and we can say script source app.js or whatever you named your JavaScript file. Yes, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is just grab a few elements first of all. We can say const intro section. This is the intro section. We can say document.query selector intro. Okay, that's how we named it. Okay, we can get the video. We can say const video is equal to, now you can do intro dot query selector. So you can, you can look straight into the intro. So whatever you have in there, you don't have to do document. Uh, if you want like something that's already in, 
uh, in there. So I can just basically select a video here. See, I don't need to like add an ID or anything. Um, we can get the text from that. I'm gonna, th these are gonna be a bit vaguely named just because we have, we don't have that many things, but if you build out a bigger project, obviously uh, do video one and video two. <laughs> no, I'm joking, don't do that. Just give more specific names. Uh, okay, intro.query selector, and basically we just have a H1 in here. Okay, and at the end, so this is the beginning here, and this is the end section. Uh, here, what we're gonna have is, we have that section, <laughs> so document.query selector, and we have the section, and finally we have the end text there, so end, I know, I'm sorry, query selector, oh, See, we can do section.query selector here. Like that. And we can just get the H1. Wow, cool. Okay, so we have these few things. Now, what we can do is we can initiate our scroll magic. Scroll magic, like that. And the way this works is basically you create a controller and then you attach scenes to it. If that doesn't make any sense, you're gonna see right now. So let's create a controller. We can say controller, set that equal to new scroll magic. Make sure it's uppercase there, dot controller. I always mess it up, so I have the code right here. Okay, so we have this controller. And now we can create a scene, all right? And you can ima imagine like uh, every, like basically all the things you wanna animate can be within a scene, but then you might have another section of animations that can be another scene okay so let's just do one scene for now and then we're gonna do another scene uh, so it's kind of gonna be obvious what I'm trying to say but basically this scene is gonna be all about animating that video okay then we might have another scene uh, that handles all the text fading in and out okay so this is gonna be new scroll <laughs> scroll magic dot scene all right and here we can do parentheses and then curly braces because we can add some options in here we can add a duration so basically how many pixels i want to scroll um, so we can add duration let's add a thousand and i'm going to show you what this means and then we have also a trigger element so when do i want something to trigger uh, so let's do trigger i'm just going to write it out and then i'm going to show you here we're going to add the intro and I'll also add a trigger hook, and that's gonna be zero. Okay, I'm gonna clarify everything. Hold on, hold on to me, my dear friend. And then at the end, make sure you don't close it here. You, you basically attach all the scenes to the controller, okay? So all you have to do is add to controller like this, okay? Very cool. And what we can also do here is we can add in those indicators so everything becomes clear. So add indicators like this with uh, uppercase I. Save, let's, let's just make sure this works and I'm gonna show you everything. Okay, so I have the black background here, unfortunately, uh, but up here, I'm not sure if you can see, we have the trigger, okay? And this is the end. So basically, basically the duration is gonna be this end here, all right? Basically where you want the animation to trigger, right? So I can do it here at the end if I want. Now, when does the animation actually happen? Well, when this blue trigger here that's on the top hits the end, so boom, there, okay, boom. So I can move these wherever I want. So if I want the duration to be shorter, I can just move this up. So I can say after 500 pixels, okay? So as you can see, now the end is here. So now if I move this down, boom, that's where it hits. I can also move this trigger hook, which is this up here, right? I can also move this around. So zero is gonna be all the way top, 0 0.5 in the middle, and here at the bottom is gonna be one. So if I change this to 0 0.5, it's gonna be in the middle. Generally, I would just move the trigger one here, so the trigger hook, hook where you want the effect to trigger, and the duration kind of depends on, on a few things. If you want to do something combined with like GSAP, so basically the duration that you scroll, if something's going to animate, uh, then this is something that, that you kind of have to play with. Uh, the way I did it is my video 
lasts for nine seconds. So what I did, the duration here, is I put it to 9000, okay? Like that. So basically there is a ton to scroll here. A ton, a ton, a ton, okay? So basically throughout the whole video, um, it's gonna be animated, okay? Now I'm gonna move this back to zero because I want this to start instantly, like that. So boom, okay, we're gonna scroll. Now the problem is that this stays there, okay? It doesn't stay there, it kind of moves down. I want this to be pinned. So what you can do is, this is very cool, you can just go down here and then you can just say set pin. And then you can just add the intro, like that. Hit save. Now if we scroll, as you can see, it stays stuck there until we scroll all the way down. As you can see, as soon as the trigger one hits the end, boom, it stops, it unpins it. So yeah, if you want something shorter, you can do a thousand. As you can see now, if I scroll a thousand pixels, boom, it's gonna stop. So this is kind of how the trigger works with the duration, right? Uh, trigger hook is basically gonna be the position you wanna finish something, so unpin something, or maybe start an animation, or start, just add the class to something. And the duration uh, can be combined with GSAP if you want to kind of scroll and animate. Or maybe you want something to trigger when you scroll down way more. Okay, you, you, <laughs> I hope that's clear. <laughs> I talked about this too much, people don't care. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it 9,000. This I found that this works great for this, but it's all experimentation. So I didn't just say, hey, it's a 9,000 and everything was good. Um, okay, so now what I wanna do is we're gonna get straight to the animation. So here is where we set up our scene. I'm just gonna name this scenes. And down here is where, we're, where we are gonna create the video animation. Okay, so let me scroll down and here we're gonna need a few variables. We're gonna need something called Excel amount. And I'm gonna set this to 0.1. Now what is Excel amount? Well, what is gonna happen is when we scroll, we're basically gonna change the frame, uh, the current frame of the video. So if I scroll down to like 20, I'm gonna fast forward to 20 whatever, 20 seconds in the video, even though this video is shorter. Let's say forward with five seconds, okay? So basically we're just changing the video to five seconds. Now, what, what's actually gonna happen is we're gonna have that easing. So when, when we stop, it's still gonna move a bit. And this is basically the Excel amount. It's kind of like an easing. When we scroll all of a sudden forward, uh, the remaining frames are gonna catch up and it's gonna give that effect that it's gonna move a bit more. So you're gonna see that you can mess around with this Excel amount uh, to get different results. If we're gonna put this to one, basically if we scroll fast or scroll so slow, it's gonna be like this, duh, 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 duh. okay? It's gonna stop. As soon as you stop scrolling, it's gonna stop. But if you put it lower, if you stop, it's still gonna go for a bit, okay? Because we're gonna have this bit of delay. Um, so I'm just gonna put it to 0.1. And I'm gonna give you an example to kind of show you how this works. So then we're gonna do a scroll position, all right? Basically where we scroll, it's gonna be set to zero and we're gonna have that delay or that easing, if you wanna say. That's gonna be zero two for now. This is gonna be super short and simple. Uh, surprisingly, it's five or six more lines of code. So what we're gonna do is on that scene that we created, scene, we actually have access to something. So the scene here, right? The scroll magic scene. We have access to something, so we can say on, it's basically an event listener, on update, all right? And here we have an E, which is an event, all right? This is basically just an arrow function here. And this is what I'm saying, if you wanna do this in vanilla JavaScript, you would just do a basic event listener on scroll, okay? That's basically the whole change. Um, and here, what we can do is set that scroll position equal to, and on this event, we have access to something called scroll position. All right, if we console log this out, I'm gonna show you, scroll position, position, like that, okay? And you know what, we can also uppercase this if, if you want, you can uppercase these, I got lazy. Let me uppercase these. 
There we go. Everything is nice now. So actually, let's leave it lowercase because I don't want you to confuse these two things. Uh, this is coming from scroll magic on the event. All right. So let me just console log event here. So if we take a look in the browser, if we scroll, as you can see, this event uh, that we have from scroll magic has a scroll position on top of it as you can see there. And basically what this does is we have the duration, which is 9,000 pixels. And basically as soon as we scroll, uh, this keeps updating all the way till we arrive at 9,000. So there, boom, as you can see, it's 9,000 now. Okay. Um, but the problem is that this is not going to work for us uh, because I don't want this to be 9,000, right? I want this to be in in seconds, okay? I don't want milliseconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this by a thousand, okay? Just so I get seconds because I have duration 9,000 milliseconds and here is 9,000 as well as soon as we scroll all the way down. Um, but I want to have seconds. I'm gonna divide everything by a thousand, all right? So we have nine and the video is nine seconds as well, okay? This is all we need. <laughs> I'm talking too much for like two lines of code. Oh my goodness. Okay. And finally, um, the last thing I need to do is just set an interval. Okay. We can set an interval here like this and we can, we can run a function in here like this and I can just add, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get that delay like this. I'm going to say plus equals and here we're going to say scroll position minus delay times ah, let me get out of there times excel amount all right so basically what is going to happen is we add to the delay whatever we scroll to and then we're gonna basically ex accelerate this uh, by 0 0.1 okay and you're gonna see this happen in just a bit let's just try it console log let's console log the scroll position and the delay okay i want to show you what happens and here i want this to run every 33.3 milliseconds and what i did here was what did i do here i divided something um Basic. <laughs> I, I forgot what I did. Why is this 33 seconds? Because let me see. What did I calculate here? Um, we have 9,000. All right. And we have nine seconds. Basically, this is going to be so the frame rate doesn't look too bad. If, if I take a thousand and divide this by the frame rate of the video, which is going to be 30. Yeah, we have 33. All right, so I, can, I, I thought that this result would look good when we scroll. Uh, if you have like a 24 frames per second video, you can do, you can basically divide a second by 24 and then you would put it at 41.6. This is what I seen look good, uh, but feel free to experiment with this. Okay, so I just wanna console log you scroll position and delay, just to kind of show you what I mean by the delay catching up. Um, so take a look, this is what we have. When we scroll, as you can see, it's nine and it, the, the, the delay is catching up to our scroll position. So we, if we scroll 10 and this is catching up, let's go up zero. As you can see, boom, the delay starts going towards our number. Boom. Okay. So now take a look. All we have to do in here is just say video dot current time and set this equal to our delay. Now, let me show you what happens when we set it to the, our scroll position. OK, you don't have to do any of these crazy things in here. OK, nothing. You don't have to do anything. So take a look. Let me scroll back. If we start scrolling, the video starts animating. OK, very cool. But as you can see, as soon as I stop scrolling, boom, it stops instantly. So if this is something you want to have, you can remove everything here. <laughs> okay, you don't need this Excel amount. You don't need this delay. You don't need anything. Uh, but if you want to have that small easing, then you can set the video current time to the delay. All right, hit save. 
Now take a look when we scroll a bit and stop, see it still goes for a bit, which, which I think just looks good. All right, so basically let me just go through this very quickly again. Um, so we have this Excel amount, we have the scroll position. So when we scroll uh, and we have this delay. So what we do is we set the videos um, control to, to the delay. And the only job of this delay is to, is to catch up to where we scrolled, okay? So if we scroll to 10, the delay is gonna be like, oh, eight, nine, 10, okay? Um, which is gonna give us this nice effect. So all we did was set the scroll position to the E scroll position, which is connected to this duration, right? Because if we go all the way down, it's 9,000. And we divide it by 1,000, just so we can get it in uh, seconds. And then in here, we just accelerate the delay based on the scroll position, minus whatever there is in delay, times the Excel amount, okay? And now if if you wanna have like a, if you don't want this to be as powerful, you can just change up the Excel amount uh, to maybe 0 0.5, but this is gonna give you the most delay. And then we just change the video's current time and set that equal to the, to the delay. So boom, take a look, scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, and then this kind of stops. Okay, so what I kind of want to show you is quickly how we can animate this as well. And then that's going to be it. So let me go back here. What, we, what, what you can do is just quickly add a new scene. So all you have to do is say, actually, you know what? Uh, I had a bug with this for some reason when, when I added another scene and I added const. So let's just quickly change the const to let. That seemed to work fine. I'm not sure what kind of conflict is going on there, but uh, this worked fine when I said let and not const. So I'm gonna say new scroll magic dot scene like this. And then here I'm gonna say the duration. Let's do the duration for the text. Uh, so I can maybe say 3000 I want on this. And the trigger element is still gonna be element. See, I messed this one up, element, element, intro. And the trigger hook is gonna be zero again, okay? Perfect, and then to make this animate, all I have to do, let's go here, I'm gonna say text animation is Create a animation against a let const, let's do const text anim and set this equal to a tween max from two. So I want to animate the text, the variable that we have up here, the h1. I want to animate that. I can put three, just like the duration. And then I can go from opacity one, and then you create another object, opacity zero to make it go away. Okay. Now, we can add this to the scroll. As you can see now, it just fades away after three seconds, but we don't want that. So what we can do is we can go to our second scene that we just did, where are you? Here. And let me remove the, the semicolon there. And what we can do is just say set tween text animation. Okay, this one up here. And finally, we can just add it to the controller. All right, so all these scenes that you create, you basically add to the controller. Hit save, let's take a look. And there we go, when we scroll, it starts fading out. Awesome. Perfect. And let's see if it comes back. And you can basically do the same thing to you can do the same thing to the last text, okay? Just do another scene and animate that whenever you want. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And also it's Halloween today, so I'm gonna go spend some time watching uh, scary movies with my girlfriend. And I did have a costume, even though I'm not in a costume right now. I'll post up a picture here. This is me, I'm a pirate. Yeah, all right. That's gonna be it. Please let me know what, what did you dress up as. 
and leave it down in the comments and I will judge you. And until next time, make sure you purchase the new DevEd Pro. $9.99. No stand included.